Fantastic. Hey there world. My name is Jordan Gray and I'm here and I'm going to show you how to cut a full ribeye the way that I like to cut one. Um, I tell a lot of people about this and uh, a lot of people don't seem to be able to get it or maybe just don't understand the way I'm explaining to them. So I'm going to do a video of it. So what I got here is a, a whole bone in ribeye or at least this portion of it from uh, this happened to come from Kroger. Uh, they run a deal on it. Uh, every now and then throughout the year where they're $5.99 a pound, uh, which I think is a pretty good deal in the United States. Um, so it's not Mexican beef. So it's a USDA choice bone and ribeye. Now I've chosen this one because I like it. It's already had the seal, the vacuum seal broken on it. Uh, so I'm going to cut, go ahead and cut it. I got my scimitar here. Big, a big ass knife. Um, So this ribeye is 21 and a half pounds and ranks in at just under 130 bucks. I'm trying to do this all clever and I can't get it. Do it, Daddy, oh, do, it. do it. Do it, do it, do it. All right. All right, so here we have our whole bone-in ribeye. I've turned it over after I removed the plastic. Um, I have it on a butcher block and for some reason have a cutting board on top of my butcher block. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this steak the way that I like to grill it, which is about a couple inches thick. Uh, it allows us to grill the steak and get a nice char on it while keeping a nice rare center and um, one steak will feed two people. Maybe a little more than that. Just, it just depends really on how big the ribeye is. Now, as you'll see, this ribeye here I've chosen, particularly because I like the amount of meat that's on the top portion of this. Now, you can watch some of these videos uh, of people like butchers and whatnot preparing these, these uh, ribeyes and telling you about this stuff. And some of them will claim that this is the best portion of the meat but just keep in mind um, when you're paying for this it's bone in I mean the more meat you've got on it the more you're paying for meat the less you're paying for the actual meat as opposed to paying for bone so I've got it turned over once again of what I'm gonna look at now I don't like to really prepare any of this pieces of meat and you'll see both of these bones that are in here all right so you can buy this and you can have it butchered yourself at the store, wherever it is that they're doing it from. And, um, but there was one thing about it, I like for the rib to be whole in there. I mean, it's not just getting a big, thick piece of steak that you can char nicely and have a nice rare center, but you can also, you've got that whole bone. So I don't have to worry about shards of bone and that sort of thing. So if you're thinking like, oh, well, I can't get through this. It's got bone in it. I ain't got a, that kind of style. Like, no, no, no. That's the whole reason I'm making this video is I'm going to show you how to get through it. Okay? So what you got here are these, see these bones? They run down right through here. Bones, ribs. Runs all the way up to right cha. Got you? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut through the, the um, I don't know what you'd call this. It's this, this uh, meat that's in between these ribs. You're gonna cut right down through the side of these ribs. So I'm basically gonna cut down the side of this one right in between these two and right down to the side of this one. So the way I like to do it, I, get my, I have a big knife for this. You don't have to have this large of a knife. I just have this one, so this is the one I use. Did you see this right here? I wanna go right here and right here. So this is how I'm gonna cut that steak. Right, so I've got this. Now I'm making a cut. Pretty easy, right? Yeah, what was that, an inch and a half, maybe two, inch, two four inches there? Yeah. And then straight down. All right, and this is what you got. This is your ribeye. Bone in, 
these are your end cuts, so you know the end obviously is not going to look as good as that internal portion. But see, this is a really nice ribeye, which is not super expensive, so it's not going to have all the great things that you want in it. But what it does have is some nice marbling, a good amount of fat, and it has that bone, which I absolutely love. All this fat's on the outside. If you want to take that off once you're grilling it, you're more than welcome to do that. So I'll show you how I do it at some point in the future. All right, so just to show you what you end up with here, in case you're curious on a piece of meat, what you're gonna have. Uh, it's two pounds and 6.6 .6 ounces. So, what is that? Uh, 38 ounces, 39 ounces. 39 ounces with a bone in, a couple of people, that's more than, more than enough. Right, well, I know some people will be like, I can eat that by myself, yeah. Yeah, you can eat that by yourself. That's, I can too. It's just normally that's that's for uh, two people. Now, let me get a thing to place this meat on. I guess you just probably lay it out here in the front. I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got the first one cut off, and I'm going to continue likewise. So if, if the, for some reason the, the steak is, the, uh, the, the ribeye is not, it's not going to be perfectly symmetrical, but that's what you're going to get after every cut. So you'll wind up with one, one sort of wanky piece, maybe, maybe both. It doesn't really matter, but that one ended up nice and straight. So we're just going to continue the same thing. So I got a bone here. See the side of that? I have a bone here, side of that. And I'm going to make one cut. It just sort of helps me get through it. If I can find out where I'm at. And then just continue slicing. And there's your ribeye. Hey, somebody and that one right there is 40 ounces. Sweetie. Move. I'm going to get go. So that one there is 40 ounces. So just a little bit bigger. Uh, and they should get bigger and bigger. So keep going. All right. So once again, um, my rib here, my rib up here. See, I've got this little piece of bone here that you're actually going in between this little piece here, this little piece here. Sometimes you'll have those. Sometimes depending on how much they cut out, you won't, that, that little piece may not be in there. Okay, so that's what sort of boogered me up on the first one, on that last one rather. So, now one thing I should tell you, it's very important to have a sharp knife. Not necessarily you have to have a big knife, but you need to have a sharp knife. I sharpened this before we got going, it was already pretty sharp. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. So here we're coming in at 40 and 50 ounces, right? All right. We're getting right. 50 ounces. Now they just get, you know, bigger and bigger. So once again, we're looking for that, that spot right there in between all that stuff. And then this spot, you know, show. And this, I'm just going to just to the right of this. I mean, you can go the opposite way too, I suppose, if you were wanting to. But, um, just go into the right of that, of that rib there and just to the left of this one on the top. So from one to the other, just like so. Tad bit smaller than that other one. The last one. So I'm keep going. My instructional video. This rib here's off. <sighs> now you notice that I'm slicing right through this. There's no bone for me to cut through. I'm cutting between the 
um, the connective tissue that's between the ribs. That's what I'm going through. See that? Bone, 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 no bone. Bone, 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 no bone. That's what I'm doing. And since we've weighed all the others, uh, oh, we got 54 ounces here. Yeah. There's a 54 ouncer. A lot of fat on that. Oh, nice. So what we're left here, then we're going to get two more steaks. I'm going to cut this one in half, and this we're going to be left with our um, with the end piece and the last steak that I cooked, which should be the biggest should be the biggest steak. Now I do want to show you on this one that this bone on the top, there is quite a bit of it left on this side of the steak. That's the reason there's so much more meat over here, is that they haven't they didn't cut this one like this. They cut it up here, which is fine. It just may it may booger you up when you're trying to cut through that a little bit. You may be like, oh I hit bone. Well it's just that bone's in the way. Back up, sweetie. Uh, so I just want to make for sure that I'm not going to get um, there. So what I'm going to do is just go right in between there. Okay. I'm going to find my, find my other rib up here. There we go. That one. The little fat's a little lopsided on it. Let's see what we got here. This is big. Oh, here we got a full 60 ounces. Look at bones. 60 ounces of ribeye. Now you see, one of the reasons I picked this steak is because I could tell from looking down the end how much meat was actually in it, as opposed to fat. Now you, you were, most of these, especially cheap ones, you're going to find a good portion of fat in here on this, especially on this end of the rib. Um, but you can see that it's cut down a little bit here. It's more down on this end because where I was cutting from. So it started trimming down toward the end. But I, once these steaks are grilled, I don't like to pull that off. I'm not grilling a steak that winds up looking like this. It's good. These portions here where this connective tissue is between the meat and here, these are actually going to sort of butterfly out. So that I, what I'll end up with is um, these pieces connected right up here by the rib, both of them, and this one just sort of connected by this couple inch long piece uh, strip here. And all this fat in the middle will char really good. So you can trim those up and do them however you like. You know, some of you see these fancy ones with a big long rib, and they take all that stuff off. and Like this is all good. That crispy, when that fat gets good and crispy, people love it. Oh, and our end piece this is the best looking steak of the whole bunch. Uh, we're looking at 50 and a half ounces on that one. So we wound up with some large steaks. Like I said, the smallest one coming down from that cut in was what? It reminds me of Well, it's 50, uh, I'm sorry, 37 ounces. So we went from 37 all the way up to 60. How about that? And that there is how you cut a whole ribeye. Uh, I think I'll in the next video I'll show you maybe how I season some of them uh, that, that we tend to like. Uh, there's a million different ways you can do it. Uh, what you won't see from me is any sous vide because I think that's a waste of a good piece of ribeye. So, uh, next video, vacuum sealing. Thank you for watching.